more large masses spread throughout parts of the body, uh, malignancy. Cancer that continues to grow can eventually overwhelm and destroy the parts of the body in that they are located within. The main difference between cancer cells and normal cells is that they are mortal. We have telomeres, uh, telomeres, at the end of our DNA, and these things control the DNA from unraveling. And we'll have us, we're programmed. The reason we die at 100 years or 120 years or 85 years, whatever our life expectancy should be, is programmed into that uh, DNA. So every time the cell divides, you lose a little bit of that uh, strand. And when it's all gone, the cell can't divide anymore, and you go into senescence, and then you die. So we're not, we can't be immortal. It's impossibly immortal. You can repair the DNA. You can repair the telomeres. Uh, and what cancer does is that it produces something called telomerase, and it constantly repairs that. So cancer cells, there are cancer cell lines that have been in existence since 1935, growing. They just don't die. Now, that's unnatural. Cells are supposed to die. And I think there's something weird in our culture where we don't recognize aging and dying is a natural factor. And maybe cancer is part of the, of the denial of mortality. Uh, as I said in that past slide, a 70-year-old is 100 times more likely to have cancer than a 19-year-old. You know about cancer. Viruses, there are a lot of things that cause cancer. Viruses, but most of these things are, uh, uh, affect the cell DNA. Uh, they are inflammatory factors. Free radicals are in the cells. Free radicals are produced by the mitochondria. They are about energy production. The balance between free radicals and uh, antioxidants is carefully balanced in a cell. If it tips one way or the other, you get disease. So we need to balance those factors. 95% of all free radicals happen from your own metabolism. We have things like glutathione. We have things like SOD. These repair the cells and keep them functioning. This is one of the reasons why you want to eat lots of fruits and vegetables. Causes of cancer. This, uh, as talked about Verkal before, uh, infection and chronic inflammation contribute to about 40 uh, one in four cancer cells Cytokines, free radicals, prostaglandins, growth factors induce genetic changes. Tumor microenvironment largely orchestrated by inflammatory cells. So the tumors actually use the inflama inflammatory process to continue to grow. They also defeat the immune system by tricking the immune system over response. We have an, uh, an immune system, and there are two parts of the immune system. Well, there are more than two parts, but in a simple sense, we have cellular immunity, that is, the immunity that's inside the cell, and we have humoral immunity, sort of a yin-yang, if you like. Cellular immunity in cancer is very low, while humoral immunity is very high. So the humoral immunity is producing these inflammatory markers which tend to promote growth, while the cellular immunity is low, and it tends to undermine the kinds of... Uh, uh, DNA factors or genetic factors like p21 gene that induce apoptosis. So the, can the, c the cancer cell tricks the immune system, deceives the immune system, and as Verkow said, it pr it's like there is a wound that never heals, and the body is constantly trying to repair by growing new cells. When you have a wound, you have the same thing that goes on in cancer. You get cells that grow, new blood supply, all of these things go on. And that's great. But when the wound is healed, that process stops. With cancer, it just keeps on going. Again, some more evidence about um, chronic inflammation. Chronic inflammation, of course, is a factor that happens as we get older. The Chinese have a term, which I think is wonderful. Um, and there's some good research in China. It's called yin deficiency heat. Yin deficiency heat is a kind of an inflammation that happens because there is a deficiency. And it's often associated in Chinese medicine, although they didn't know that, with oxidative stress. 
And a lot of the Chinese herbs that are used in cancer repair that kind of chronic inflammation, that yin deficiency heat. Years of toxic exposure, again, when we lived in an environment that was relatively clean and pure, when the water was pure, the air was pure, we didn't have a lot of these issues. Um, w people said, oh, well, we didn't live very long. But the fact is that our hunter-gatherer ancestors, the ones that survived the large animals and the exposure to accidents, actually lived quite as long as we do. It's only the beginning of agriculture where people s congregated in a single area and they took on animals that we began to have a diminishment. Our hunter-gatherer ancestors ate extremely well and lived long and full lives. In fact, skeletal remains indicate that they were quite as tall as modern humans. It was only with the beginning of agriculture that we started to be stunting down in growth because of a very limited supply of food. So when you grow things like grains, you can produce a lot of energy per acre. You can feed more people, but the quality of the food is very low, as opposed to hunter-gatherers who are eating roots and vegetables and shellfish and so forth like that. Often things we do dramatically increase free radical production, such as performing extreme exercise, working a stressful job. Stress will reduce your telomeres. Stress will increase the inflammation factors surrounding breast cancer. Women who have stress, high stress levels, high cortisol, high activization of the sympathetic nervous system, nor norepinephrine, are more likely to have more radical and aggressive tumors than women who are not, and more likely to suffer reoccurrence than women who are not stressed. So stress has a direct effect on tumors. Inflammation, I've spoken about these things. Um, these pathways of inflammation are critical. Cancer is a central mechanism of free radical injury to genes. Colorectal cancer will may escape the disease unless you eat a lot of meat. And again, here's one of the factors of modern civilization. Our ancestors, when they ate a mammal, a cow or, or something of that, were eating mammals that were raised on grass. The fat content of an animal raised on grass is different than an animal that's raised on grain. And the kinds of fat are different. You get conjugated linoleic acid in grass-fed animals, which you do not get in grain-fed animals. We eat a lot of fish. A lot of the fish is now farm-raised. What do they feed farm-raised fish? They feed them soybeans and grains. So you get a diminishment of EPA and DHA. These omega-3s are anti-inflammatories. We should be eating a ratio of about one to one between omega-3s and omega-6s. But in fact, many people in modern society are eating 20 to 30 times more omega-6s than omega-3s. Why is this dangerous? Because omega-6s cascade into arachidonic acid, which is pro-inflammatory, feeds tumors. So this is one of the reasons why you should be eating a lot of fish or taking some kind of DHA, EPA supplement. So if you have low folate, selenium, and vitamin E intake, the risk goes even higher. So if you're eating food that is not produced in a way that is healthy, that the soil is not healthy, you will get micronutrient deficiencies. Those are also factors. If your gut doesn't work very well, one of the reasons why the elderly get depressed isn't that their life is miserable, it's just because they have low levels of B12. Why do they get low levels of B12? Because, not because of dietary factors, but because they have lower levels of intrinsic factor in their stomach. B12 is a highly complex vitamin, breaks down easily in the gut unless it's protected. So, when you get old and you get depressed, supplement with B12 folic acid, and the depression goes away. They don't need SSRIs. Recognize a repeat exposure to certain chemicals right in cancer. Um, also, count, we, we look at a lot of the carcinogens. We don't see them as combinations. For example, some of the studies that was done 
uh, at, in the time of Virchow showed that chimney sweeps in London 